worried me, worried me a little bit. Yeah, 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 that scared me too. Does have a Roy secondary that he breaks out from time to time, should be noted, but it's uh, not always the case. Actually, the winner of the most recent Kingdom with wins on uh, players like BD Bean twice, Jeez. and are hungry and Sensei. Yeah. Kind of went over Angel Cortez, the OG. Yeah, he's playing again. Isn't that kind of crazy? I really love good. that, man. I mean, yeah. I saw a, I saw some. Rivers had a win recently over Kugi. Yeah, Kugi, Kugi's kind of back. Kugi's kind of hanging out, having a blast. Before there was BD Bean, there was Kugi Coots. Know your history. <laughs> Oh. Well, once again, this is what I was talking about a little bit earlier. Hydra's edge guarding. It, oh. It's just inherent with, with Palutena. So far, Syrup has for? not oh. been able to oh get a, even, even a little bit of a percent on Hydra here. And now Hydra just going to you know teleport out of there saying, you know what, I'm good. Uh, you can come to me. But Palutena was kind of our, our day one boss in this game. Oh, oh my, my god! Oh, just like that, we were talking about Angel Cortez get exposed! Says Hydra, mm -hmm. and his three stocks to one immediately. Yeah, very true. Hydra, my god, just coming out of the gate swinging. This is, you know, the type of punish game we usually see from a player like Syrup, who's so technically advanced. But now Hydra really just, you know, backing up, finding the back airs where they need to. The shield on Palutena is such a good move. The up air is going to connect here, waiting it out. Syrup going to opt to just go off to the side of the stage. But... The back throw back air looking good on Hydra once again. Just such a strong neutral from both players, but Hydra just coming out of the gate different. Yeah, but now we're seeing Syrup starting to get the uh, starting to get the ground under his feet. Got caught in midair and certainly in recovery. That's the thing. There's a lot of range on that thing, but it is susceptible to getting. Uh, Getting bopped just a little bit in Hydra, sensing a moment of weakness perhaps. Not going to go for the back throw in that position, matching Ooh, out nice of it, it seems like. And eventually, Syrup is going to take uh, his first stop. Yeah, the, the Nair, oh. what both of these players have, it's very funny. While they're both kind of, you know, like younger, they both have really good edge guarding. So the Nair from Ledge was looking really strong from Syrup. And now Hydra, all he really needs is one good conversion into a back throw. The up air is going to connect. Another one of those will be trouble, wow. and it will be. That, compared to that entire last set that we <laughs> just had, to, this game is going by insanely quickly. The, I mean, with the, the bars fell from the cage and out came the Hydra. What else is there to say? This was seconds into the match. We saw- Yeah, that was gross. Yeah, again, that wasn't even a minute, not even a minute had elapsed at that point. Yeah, no, that was gross. That was absolutely disgusting. And if you're Syrup, you, you just kind of have to, whatever, you pick the puck from out of the net and you got to go again. It's yeah. whatever, you, you have to have a short memory when it comes to the that. The thing is, that's kind of how this game goes. Sometimes you, you have to shake it off, otherwise it's going to be a snowball. And now Hydra up 1-0 in this set. This is, once again, a best of five. I think we're going to Small Battlefield and we are putting on the Tekken music because we got 39 Tekken songs and they're all dope. So Absolutely. let's see how this one's going to go. Syrup already starting off a little bit better. Going to be able to get the first grab into the PK fire. Going to go for the little tilt there just to create some space. But now let's see what Hydra does out of the corner. Not going to be able to find much other than the last hit of Nair. But speaking of Nair, here oh. comes Syrup just forcing Hydra on the ledge. Letting Syrup get ahead of steam behind him. And you knew that you, he wanted the corner and then you gave him the corner. I'm not really sure <laughs> if I'm liking that right offhand, but then again, you do get a read on what Syrup wants to do in particular. His combo starter is basically how he's going to try to win advantage off of you, even though you're down in terms of damage. Yep. You're uh, you're more than okay, especially if you get that back throw, which, well, guess what? This is a back air, and it's gonna use it to kill you. Back air is so good on, this, on both characters, in my opinion. They yeah. both have very similar strengths. Back throw, though, just trying to throw Hydra off a little bit, trying to do the same thing to him with a PK <laughs> flash. Not gonna be able to find much, though. Here comes Hydra, signature edge guarding, though, looking for the down tilt, gonna offer an up smash instead, but good on Syrup to just know that the explosive flame was coming. Just, you know, fall a little bit closer to the ledge, make it a little bit more safe for him. But now they're gonna switch positions here. Syrup now trying to force Hydra to the ledge, by using a couple of those aerials and going to get back thrown instead. Okay, gonna get a get little bit of healing off of the explosive flame. Ooh. Oh, hanging out above ledge for a little too long. Hydra, not there to ch I mean, it, almost beyond his wildest dreams and opportunity like that, just was not ready to capitalize. It, who could blame him? You just don't really expect that from Syrup. But 143% going to survive. This is Ness. You get to throw out five aerials at once for some reason. And 
you just survive sometimes. It's crazy like that. Very true. I do also just want to point out that on that last interaction, we, we had Hydra standing back to the ledge. You always should know that when a Palutena is kind of, she has your back to you on the ledge, she is looking for you to roll so she gets an easy back throw or maybe even a back air if you kind of fade long enough. So good on Syrup to realize that situation here. And now Hydra kind of trailing behind. The stocks are even, but you're almost going to be at 100 as Palu. And, you know, the princess weight, as I like to call it, isn't as forgiving as people would expect, especially versus a character like Ness. But the back airs have been doing really well for both players. And once again, the Nair from ledge looking so good by Syrup. His it, name is Syrup Nair for a reason. It covers quite a bit. And, yeah, you know, you got to love when a story tells itself. But <laughs> Very true. Jump is going to make it back. And no need for fanciness. You've seen too many people get cute below the ledge against Palutena today. You don't need to be making the same mistakes as they do. Sometimes it's best to just get home before it gets dark. Yep, for sure. So. Okay, trying to find the backer. Not going to be able to find much else. So here comes the PK fire. I love the auto, auto reticle there from Hydra saying, you know what, I'm good. Let's just cr create some more space. But Sierra going to follow up with a dash attack into the Nair. Okay, just trying to find something else. Back air is a plenty on both sides here. Hydra going to go for the fall off Nair. Not going to be able to find it. I, I cannot believe Ness lived that at, at 150. But once again, Hydra with these down tilts looking really pristine. Nice back air. Oh. I said it. Yeah, I mean, hey, someone was bound to. <laughs> it wasn't me for once. So it's going to be a Nair. And again, meeting them with the forward air, it's just so many options. You can do so much in the air as Ness, especially when you have advantage. Hydra having to pay quite the toll in order to get back. This is a mighty big bridge to cross. Anyone who's uh, traveled from New Jersey to Pennsylvania can tell you about that. And then forward air, hang on. Got the base dropped on us and yeah, oh look at me dropping the back air potentially is Hydra trying to get this kill at That's around 127% trying to survive. But this is uh, very much kill percent. Hydra's doing an amazing job spacing right now. There's so much on the line here. 137, this is definitely not where you want to be, but the oh! explosive flame just oh, out of thought. nowhere by Hydra going to seal that game too. You and Hydra was down for that entire game and one neutral interaction and then just sneaking in the explosive flame. Syrup wasn't expecting it and neither ready. were we. <laughs> no, I was, I, don't say you were ready. I was not ready either. Let's watch this one again. This was kind of funny, right? Can't find the back air. So now Syrup's going to go for the fair and just the clip of it, the yeah. clip of it completely exploded. Syrup definitely kind of knew it was coming, but definitely you never expect it to go all Caught the way out. Caught by the out. brim of his hat. <laughs> it's true. It's weirdly enough, let me turn my hat backwards just in case. Uh, so yeah, this Hydra going up two to nil as we're going to what looks like a small, yeah, we'll small battlefield, small. yeah. I, I mean, it's not the stage, right? It's definitely, you know, the advantage of Hy Hydra's advantage state, excuse me, just being taken a lot further than Syrup's. So now Syrup, though, going to start out a lot stronger than he was last game. One thing that's amazing about this player is that his ability to adapt to you. So here we go, gonna get the fair out of the PK fire, and now Syrup just looking unstoppable on this stock. Can't find the Nair there, but finds Ooh. the back air. Hydra, Hydra and Syrup having only collided in competitive play once before at Stargate number two. They met in grand finals. Syrup getting the reset, Hydra taking it home. When each one went five games. Could we perhaps see a reset Ooh. to five games? It's going to take something special from Syrup, but well on the way with that first stock take. Yeah, the first stock was definitely super big for Syrup. It's the first time that he's been ahead, I think, this entire set. So let's see how long he's going to be able to hold it. Hydra going to be able to find the uh -huh. first up air. Can't find all the hits, though. Finds a prop up with the down tilt. Can't find much else, though. So now Hydra going to be able to find it again. And once again, this kid's edge guarding is fantastic, Stu. It's like, hey, if you think you have the answers, I'm more than down to change the question. Hydra, keeping the pressure on, using the staff, that disjoint to its fullest effect. And just like that, the lead is gone. And these, your recovery getting caught just a little too easily, getting chased to the ends of the earth by that back air. What do you, you, you really thought that you could approach Palutena in the air? Bro, reconsider your life, cousin. I mean, the, the prop up on the down tilt has been catching Syrup every single time, and that's just the nature of the beast of Palu. So now, once again, just trying to find a kind of a cheeky option off stage. Can't find much, though. So Nair out's going to be the option here. Can't find much else. The Nair, okay, Syrup just gonna 
choose to play a more aerial game and you kind of have to. I feel like he's trying to catch Hydra off of like a, a stray Nair or like a, even a stray Fair here. But I love the potential going for the down tilt up air instead of, you know, going mm. for this down tilt back air that we've seen so much today. Again, just getting smacked around a little too much by that staff. Explosive flame. Good to check it. And if you heal up, oh no, 138 is not out of kill oh percent. Oh my god. And you, as exhibited. Yeah. <laughs> Very true. Yeah. By that neutral getup that's going to get caught by Ooh. the explosive flame. The yo yo is going to do in Hydra, however. And Syrup is going to take us to one stock apiece. And if you want to make this comeback, now's the time to do it. Yeah, for sure. But of course, Palutena Pain Train begins now. Two nares and an up air. Can't find the next one, though, but that's 41%. It's nothing that Ness can't bring back super easily. Going to be able to find the first fair into the yo-yo hit, but not much else. Hydra's ready for it. So I'm going to use the F-Tilt to at least create some space. And now Syrup just trying to find this first you know, aerial combo, but it's Hydra that start strikes first with the nair. Trying to find the up air, can't find much else, but here comes Syrup with an air of their own into the fair. And now it's just always down to this edge guard, Stu. It's so scary. Down tilt won't do it. Going for the hard read on the yuck smash, but Syrup knows better. I, sometimes it's an art Hydra making it look like a science. This three-headed wow. monster spitting absolute poison into Syrup. Gonna get the edge guard. Is ready with the magnet still, but... Okay, responds with the button and is oh, able yep, that's to it. get it. Ness. Ness is able to throw out the up air and will take game number three. Syrup survives a test from Hydra. Is this enough to stave off the momentum? Honestly, that let's get a replay on this uh, last stock here. This down air was like perfectly kind of times, but just not perfectly spaced here. And Syrup going to be able to find the up air there. Honestly, he is so lucky he survived that because that would have been certain death. So now we're going on to game number four. Uh, I mean, we saw a 3-1 last set. I don't know if we're going to see a 3-1 here. It's looking a little bit closer, a lot faster. So now Hydra going to get this stage counter pick. We're going right back to Small Battlefield. And you know what? That is the difference between pre-quarantine and post-quarantine players. Pre-quarantine pre players love PS2. Post-quarantine players love Small Battlefield. See, yeah, I would have to say that you're right. Just because it's... Uh it just kind of works a little bit better for, for some characters. You want to be able to close space just a little bit more efficiently. PS2, there's a lot of room on which you can uh, you can run around. So, yeah, you got that platform layout that everyone likes, but not as much space to close down. So you kind of dig it, especially if you're someone who likes to approach in the air like Ness. You want to be keeping your, uh, your feet off the ground a little bit, Ooh. especially if you have Palu holding into you. Tech. Well teched. Does Bye. not matter. That was the first time that we've actually seen Syrup go up for an anti-air in the back air versus Hydra. Uh, definitely getting a lot more comfortable here. I definitely don't feel like Hydra's running the show anymore. I feel like Syrup's just trying to you know, push the advantage as much as possible. But Hydra not able to find a lot of these down tilt back airs anymore. I feel like Syrup has kind of caught on. So now not going to be oh. able to suck up any of the explosive flame here. So now Hydra looking for the back air. Can't even find the up air too, but going to offer the tomahawk down throw into the up air. That was clean. Clean, clean, clean. Like it. I mean, hey, sometimes it, maybe it's you know, what you would call standard Palutena play. At the same time, sure. it's effective. Yeah. So, what are you gonna knock that? No, it's just. It's, There's it a works reason out. why this character was one of the one of the best, you know, on on release. I mean, she is very solid. She has really reliable aerials now. Her airspeed is very decent. This nair is absolutely insane. So, I I've always said that we've had to learn ultimate in like certain like levels and yes. level one has always been Palutena Wolf. It seems to me, and I've always made the claim, like there is no character that has defined the meta more than Palutena because so many characters got into usability to have to deal with the inevitable Palutena that you would see in Bracken. Very true. If I, just maybe someone would disagree with me, but I don't know, that's just kind of nice. how it seemed to be throughout the history of this game. Syrup trying to deal with the meta right now and yeah, certainly deal with the green-haired goddess standing before him in the form of Hydra. Two games to one is the set count. Two stocks to one is the count in this game number four. And trying to close this out, building up damage, almost a full stock advantage for the young Ness main. Oh, can't find the down air on that. But now Syrup going to offer the back there, just throw Hydra off again. Going to meet him up on the platform, try and find the fair, but he can't find much else after it. PK Fire is not going to be able to connect. So now Hydra going to get stuck up in a dash attack here. 
Looking for anything else that could potentially create some more space. Going to be able to find the back air. Can't find the up air either. And now Syrup, very content with just letting Hydra have the space that they want. Going to be able to recover, though. But down tilt and oh. the misread on the up smash. Maybe a misinput, but the yo-yo actually just going to make Hydra even more uncomfortable on this ledge. And Stu, I don't know about you, but I really think we're going into a game five. Certainly looking like it, just with Ness being able to throw out these uh, these things in advantage a little bit more often. Ooh, okay, the little mix bit, up. I like the mix up, and yeah, back throw is certainly powerful, not quite that powerful, and oh, no, <laughs> not quite. But you were you made him use uh, yeah, you made him air dodge. The kick. The wow. Kick, really? It just. Yeah, I, mean, I got some magic. I got feet too. A, I don't a, know if you know a this. Six foot goddess or a little kid's shoe. Yeah. My God. Hey, you know what? Those ankle biters, bro, they just get you on the... <laughs> they get you, like, literally on the shin. Yeah, that like annoying, like the Razor bro. scooter on your ankles, bro. If you want to know how much a kid <laughs> kicking you hurts, go to an IHOP on a Sunday. <laughs> You'll on find out. On a Sunday? Yeah, because they're all just ramped up. They <laughs> On, like, the sprinkle pancakes or something like that. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's exactly it. They got that little, the pancakes with the clowny face or whatever. <laughs> like and the Monster Mash Sunday from the, Family. The, the, the mother decided to just take the day off, so she ain't watching them. Yes, it happens. <laughs> well, That's we up. are going to Town and City for game five here. Syrup has done a really good job of adjusting and even kind of now training Hydra to go into their neutral here. But if it's one thing that Palutena can do, especially on Town and City, it's get combo extensions. 52 off of two nares and two up airs. So now Syrup is going to have to stabilize here. I love how Syrup uses the platforms to at least come down with a PK fire because essentially he's trying to bait Hydra to jump into him. Back air is not going to be able to do much here. So let's see what Hydra's edge guard is. We're going to opt to play it a little bit more passive, but now Syrup's in the driver's seat. Dash attack, trying to tack on as much damage as he, as he possibly can. Hydra getting back to stage. Yeah, Nair comes out so quickly, so effective. And you, you, you become a moving hitbox. What yep. is it that you're supposed to do if you're Hydra? Just sit and shield all the time? Okay, yeah, that's cool. You get uh, one of the stronger back throws in the entire game if Syrup knows what he's doing, which, you know, spoiler alert, he does. Hang on. Gonna Ooh, be with gonna the Gonna catch mask. him. Gonna catch him and beautifully done. Comboed onto the platform. Courtesy of that back air and the explosive flame to finish it off and its advantage Hydra, but not for long as the yo-yo once again makes its appearance. And we're at two stocks apiece. Yeah, it was the first time that Hydra actually got the first stock, but now Syrup once again going to be able to pull away with a little combo for his troubles. And now, now Hydra looking for the back airs now that won him these first two games. But now Syrup going for the little B reverse PK fire there, kind of, kind of schmoo. Kind of schmoovin, but now Syrup not going to get caught up by the explosive flame. Instead, going to extend the combo. These these falling fairs do have been really, really good. So now let's see what the edge guard is going for the yo yo once more. And I feel like now Hydra needs to stop fighting from the ledge and maybe play it a little bit more passively. Just get out of there and then punish accordingly. Hydra, after being sent into loser's bracket, all the way back in pools by Beast, no less is trying to fight his way through into top eight. But on their loser side stock here, so on the cusp of elimination after taking out Slay Juice, Delta Force, Haven, and, uh, and BD Bean. Not dropping a single game that entire time. Could Syrup be the one that ends the run? Courtesy of a reverse 3-0, the most heartbreaking of fashions, oh, but good. still in this dodge. thing. It and the back air, Hydra has a fighting chance. That was such a good air dodge from Syrup just to avoid everything, but I think Hydra just reacted a little bit quicker. That's the beauty of Palutena. She has tons of options here, and here comes that Palutena Nair train Ooh. into the double up air. It's even now, Stu. The dash attack is going to come in. He needs him right up. Up there with the with the Nair, but unfortunately for Hydra, Syrup's gonna flow it out of the F Smash range. I don't think it would have done it, but once again, this is Town and City up there, uh -huh. not gonna be able to do it. Trying to find the next one, but good air dodge down from Syrup. Gonna be able to pick it right back up with the Nair, trying uh -huh. to find this up air, but these back you gotta airs land. Now. You gotta land. You're not gonna be able to. The back air at ledge, and what? Hydra survives a test from yeah. Syrup. Three to two is the final score. I just amazing composure from Hydra because once again, Syrup really had it all kind of figured out for a little bit. Every Palutena Nair was met up with a, a Ness Nair. 
Syrup was playing amazing on the ledge, and I felt like for a little bit that Hydra was just kind of getting tugged along. And that last stock, I mean, so, so clutch. And once again, as I've talked about it, Hydra's edge guarding, Palutena edge guarding, so clean. You have to be perfect with it every time. And it, what else can you say? It, at that point, Syrup could not land. Nope, was not, could not. Was not allowed to. Didn't have the weight to get down fast enough. Hydra was allowed to reset. It's just all set pieces. Knock around the knock around the floating psychic child for a little bit, <laughs> and you know, bada bing, bada boom. Eventually, you get him to ledge. Oh, okay. So you want to make this a ledge garden situation? It's not like I haven't done that a hundred times today with this back air. That's and true. Good stuff. Fundamental smash from Hydra. Won it out, and a wonderful effort from Syrup. He was going to finish seventh. You gotta wonder after being eliminated by Zamba and beating Stefan in order to make it to this round. Makes you wonder if the kid deserved better, but that's a question for another day. That's true. So sitting out at seventh at the first warped, it is going to be Ram and Syrup, which is kind of crazy when you think about it because that's some of New Jersey's best players 